Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure. I have been running the Yokohama Geolander tires in a 275 7018. I've looked at a wider footprint tire, say a 285. I've looked at taller tires um, as well. I really like the width of a 285 or 295. The problem I've been finding is that when you go to that size tire in the, let's say the Falcon or the Yokohama, it's an E-Class, E-Load tire or an E-Class tire. And those get really heavy duty sidewalls. Um, this going from a 275 width tire, I mean the footprint of the top, if you're looking at the top of the tire, how wide it is, to a 285, you're adding like 10 pounds, 10 pounds to each tire. So when you add 10 pounds to each tire, now you're already looking at a, say a 58 to 59 pound tire each in an E-load. When you go up to 285, you're getting, you're adding, um, you know, you're adding that extra nine, 10 pounds and, uh, and what that what the, the problem you have there is when you're going down the road you have to turn those tires so now your tire is going to be like almost 70 pounds so and that's if you go with a 285 and those tires or at least the ones i found in that e, e load range or e load class or whatever it is you've got to spin those tires so yes i have a v8 i can roll those tires but it's going to really start dragging on the performance and really decreasing my gas mileage. Now, I didn't buy the Tundra for good gas mileage. We, we know that. Um, I bought it for its capabilities. Um, but, you know, you have to think about that. I do like a peppy car or at least one that feels that way. And, uh, and and um you know so i do like a peppy car and one that feels quick and when you start adding that extra weight to each tire say each tire is 70 pounds well you've got to turn those and i believe it's rotational weight is what they call it i might be wrong you can correct me in the comment section um, i'm sure there's some engineers that could comment for me and kind of fill me in on that so so you've got to turn those tires and that's where the problem lies um, so I'm probably gonna go with a 275 70 instead of a 285 even though I really love the look of a 285 or 295 they're just too heavy and and God they go you're gonna pay an extra fifty dollars just to go up to 285 and you know it's just that's not inflation that's just tire cost these tires are big and heavy and you could make two two tires for a regular car out of one of these so so anyway so that's where I'm at on this and I'm about to pull the trigger on some new tires I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up going with the Falcon AT3s or AT4s I have found some AT3s the uh, the AT4s have come out yet you know, um, I'm sure the AT3s are cheaper, uh, so we will uh, we will see there. Um, you know, so I still haven't decided what I'm going to do totally, 100%. But I'll tell you the um, I really like the wider look of the tire. You know, I can live with a 275, 7018. Like I said, I really like the look of the 285. Um, but, you know, sensible me. So this is what I got right now. Yokohama Geolanders Geo 15. It's the all-terrain. There are three Mountain Peak and 275 70 18. I've been real happy with these. Uh, they've stayed in balance when I run the proper PSI. And they've done a good job. I just want to change up because maybe 
you know, looks, maybe whatever. I, I've heard really good reviews on both the Yokohamas and the Falcons. So stay tuned and we'll see what I get in the next couple of weeks. All right, guys, I hope you liked that video. It was just a little kind of thing going through my head about which tire to get and what I'm going to get and what I might get. Uh, kind of leaning towards the Falcons. I've had these Yokohamas on two vehicles over like almost, you know, uh, eight years, nine years. So um, time for an upgrade. I think I'm going to go with the Falcons. Let me know in the comment section what you would go with and what you have and why you like them. I would like to hear that. So stay tuned, got more videos coming. I've got a skid plate that I gotta put on and uh, you know, I'll probably wait till the weather is more spring-like. And uh, you know, if you would like, share and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, support the channel, buy the merch. We got some hoodies and t-shirts got some hats this is not one of them but i do have some hats and uh look on the back you can see so anyways check it out thanks a lot guys see ya